Um, well, Cravo, when we started in the retractable roof business, we started in the really covering uh, tree seedlings for reforestation in Canada, United States. Then we were into the bedding plants and perennials and ornamentals. And then people started using them for potted flowers, cut flowers. And that was really from, I'll say, 1981 up until uh, 2005 or so. And that around 2005 is when we really started trend to transition from flower crops to food crops. And so we started focusing first on the, veg the primary vegetable crops, tomato, pepper, cucumber. And then we, uh, we started getting interest in cherries. And then it started shifting into the, the primary berry crops, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. And so because a retractable roof has the ability to grow crops outside, that means that it's really applicable to countries where the climate is good most of the time. And so when I say that, if you take climate zones where the temperature is, the daytime temperature is say between 10 degrees and 30 degrees, at least for a couple of hours every day, that roof could be retracted every single day. So in the warmer climates, it's between 10 degrees and 30 degrees every single day of the year for a couple hours. As I go to the colder climates, uh, like Canada or Northern Europe, the winter time is too cold and the roof could never open. And so when we're doing crops in the colder climates, we would be considered a three season house, not a four season house. So we would be effective in the spring, summer and fall, but we would be very ineffective during the winter time because it's very dark, short daylight hours and it's very cold and a retractable roof is not as good as a glass house in that situation. So where you see glass houses, they were really designed for those cold, dark conditions where you have to grow a tomato at 20 degrees when it's minus 10 outside. But, and then the poly house industry kind of followed that. And, and that's when you started to see all of a sudden poly houses coming into the hotter climates. And that's when the trouble started because poly houses work really well when you're fighting that minus 10 to, to plus 25 because they're designed to hold heat in. They're a, retract, they're, they're a conventional greenhouse that's designed to let the light come in and um, build up more heat because the temperatures outside are too cold. Now, when you take a, a poly house that was designed for a cold climate, bring it to a hot climate, it's like adding a heating system when you really needed a cooling system. And so the reason that many growers struggle in the warmer climates and poly houses is that they were never designed for hot climates. They were designed for cold climates. And so when you take a situation where people here in India, for example, a lot of them will build them for rain protection, but your rain protection requirements are during the monsoon, which is when it's hot. And so it's a product that was designed to make things hotter, but it's being used during the hot conditions. So it's actually making a problem, a bigger problem. When we developed the retractable cooling house, it was really designed how to solve the problems in the warm countries without creating new problems. And so if I have temperatures between 10 degrees and 30 degrees, I don't need a roof at all. But if I needed a roof for rain protection, I only want to close the roof when it's raining. Because if I close the roof when it's perfect conditions, I'm creating adverse conditions. So I'm creating a new problem. And so years ago, uh, we sold a couple projects into Florida where people had bought a retractable greenhouse roof and they're going, yeah, it's great when it's raining, but, but I need some cooling but this greenhouse roof is making it uh, hotter. Can't you develop a retractable cooling roof so I can close it when it's too hot or I can close it when it's raining. And if it's not too hot or it's not raining, that roof is retracted and my plants are completely outside. 
And so we started do, doing some experiments with, inst in, instead of using a, a retractable greenhouse roof covering, we developed a retractable cooling roof, which is actually a white plastic instead of a transparent plastic. And if you think about nature, what's the color of a cloud? Diffuse. It's white, right? It's, it's, it's diffusing light and it's blocking heat. And so 35 degrees and sunny is different than 35 degrees and cloudy. We feel much more comfortable at 35 and cloudy than we do at 35 and sunny. And so once we developed the retractable cooling roof, it really proved to be that solution that the growers in the hot climates were looking for because it was like the ability to create a cloud on command. So if the temperatures are between 10 and 30, the plants are outside growing beautifully and naturally. But the moment it became too hot or too dry, they could close the roof automatically, keep the direct sunlight off the plant. And what that did was it reduced the leaf temperature, but it also started to trap the humidity that was being lost by the plants. So then I could automatically start to increase my humidity when the plants are big. And what that did it started to reduce my water usage. And so in certain, certain parts of the world, water is in short supply. And so if you have 35 degree temperatures and it's sunny, that plant is using water just to try to stay alive. It's not growing, it's just trying to survive. And so the moment you close a retractable white cooling roof and block that infrared radiation and diffuse that sunlight and block that wind and trap that humidity, that plant is now using the light that it's getting and it's using the water that it's taking to actually grow instead of just survive. And so you, your water use efficiency goes through the roof because not only is the plant growing through the middle of the daytime, so the plant's getting bigger in size, but you're also using less water. And so the retractable cooling roof has really been a... Um, yeah, a great solution for those hot, dry climates where people really have to focus on how to grow more using less water or electricity. Generally, what I've found over the last 35 years traveling around the world is that any grower that understands plant physiology will typically understand the benefits of combining nature protection and climate optimization. The problem is, is that a retractable roof house is quite expensive when it's small and you only get the cost efficiencies as it gets larger. So uh, smaller farmers are all interested, but they don't have enough land or enough capital to be able to get the project to be big enough to be cost effective. And so the people that are looking at Cravo, are more what I would call investors or businessmen or corporations where they're not as concerned about the capital investment, they're, return, they're interested in return on investment and preserving their asset. And so whether the cost was $100 or $110, that wasn't so much as important as they don't want to lose the $100 by buying the wrong technology or, or not buying enough technology to be able to make sure that they had a really easy to manage production system. And they're also looking for a point of differentiation. They don't want to be in the market the same as anyone else and be in a buyer's market. They want to be more in the seller's market. And so to do that, you have to be focusing on providing product to the market when there's not a lot of options. And what that does is if I can supply good product at this time when, it's, when there's not a lot available, the buyer will tend to stay with me during the time of the year when there's more product available. So they're using it as a point of differentiation and really demonstrating to their customer that they're prepared to make investments to be the best supplier of produce. And particularly in the case of India, where the focus is starting to shift more to food safety, being able to bring consistently a product that's safe by having a, a strong climate uh, throughout the season will help give the retailer confidence that they're in fact going to be 
delivering safe food to their uh, customer. And I guess probably the, 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 the question that um, kind of brings this all together is when people are exposed to retractable roofs for the first time, it's, it seems like a new product to them and yet we've been doing it for 35 years. And so they really want to understand and how does Cravo define success? And there's many different ways that we could define success. And I'm, I'll just take you quickly through the, the different ways. So the first way of defining success is the moment a contract signed, we can say we were successful in closing a deal, but that's not how we define success. We could define success by delivering all the materials to the job site the correct materials to the right job site at the right time. That's how we could define success. But that's not how we define success. We could define success by saying the house got installed correctly and the roof's going back and forth like it's supposed to. We're successful. It's like, no, that's not how we define success. We could define success as the computer control system is now automatically controlling the roof. So it's measuring the climate and it's now opening and closing the roof correctly. But that's not how we define success. At Cravo, we define success as we have succeeded when our customer can independently and confidently operate the complete retractable roof production system so that they can achieve their yield quality and timing so that the, they can achieve their return on investment. So our job's not done until the, to the, till our customer has succeeded. And that requires an effort on both parties. They need to have a good manager, a good grower that can learn how to use the, the production system to its fullest and they also have to communicate to us about what's going well and what's going poorly so we can to support them. But at the end of the day, we haven't succeeded until they can fully operate that retractable roof production system without our help. 